Welcome. Just to note at the start of this video that I have increased the scale and layout of my system to 125% so that you can clearly see what's happening on the screen. Have you ever asked the question, what am I going to do today? I'm sure that you have. I ask that question often. So, what am I going to do today? Let me see. Should I write Prot an email? No, I think I'll do that later. Should I check the news? Hmm, I mustn't forget my email. What about buying something on Amazon? My GitHub page. Maybe I should check out my bookmarks. Let me just double check my schedule for this week. As you can see, a kind of magic has happened. And today I'm going to be looking at a magical program called Hyperbole. And what I'm going to be doing is giving you just a brief overview of the program, show you how you can install it, and talk briefly about some of its main features. I will be doing some subsequent videos as well, looking at the program and its features in more detail. So let me just begin with a very brief overview of Hyperbole. GNU Hyperbole is an efficient, programmable hypertextual information management system. It is a suite that consists of five integral components. Buttons and smart keys, contact and text finder, screen control, hypertextual outliner, and a programming library. Now Hyperbole is an interesting program because it builds on one's existing knowledge of Emacs. And so the more you know about Emacs, the more you can do with Hyperbole. In Hyperbole, it's so simple that a beginner can benefit from it, but it also offers a wide array of features for advanced users. One of the lovely things about it is that it's a program that fades into the background and uses the invisible power of existing text. And so you'll be working in Emacs and utilizing the power of hyperbole without it even being obvious that you are doing so because it works in the background and is unobtrusive. Now the maintainers of this program are on the verge of releasing a major version, version 8, which includes many changes to the program, updates, and a number of significant new features. You can easily install the program, and I have provided for you here the different ways that you can install it, depending on the package manager that you use. So if you use package.l, this is the code that you will require. If you use straight, this code, and if you use quelpa, you will require this code. Now to test that the program has been properly installed, one would invoke control H, H, and you will see this easily accessible and unobtrusive menu appear in your mini buffer. On the left side, we have the version number of Hyperbole, which is currently version 8, this new release. And just to note that the command control T will take you to the top of the hyperbole menu. So let me just give you a little bit of an example of how this menu works. You will notice in the mini buffer a series of words. In order to access any of those menus, you would type the initial letter of the word in question. So let's type D to access the documentation. And there we can type D again and we will go into the hyperbole demo, which I will talk about in a moment. You'll notice that there is also a find feature there. Let's type F. Let's type W for web. 
you will see it has a lot of built-in internet features which are very helpful. For instance, you can access the dictionary, search for a particular word, and it will take you straight there. Be aware that when you install Hyperbole, you also have help in the menus. And I would strongly recommend that if you are going to learn this program that you begin with the demo as I have already shown you. Control H, H, D, D and we're in the demo. And you'll notice here a table of contents. If you click on any item in this table of contents using your action key Alt Enter it will take you directly to that item in question. And just to note that the demo in Hyperbole is very much like the Emacs tutorial. One expends an initial amount of time going through the demo and that allows you to grasp the basic concepts of the program. Now there are two important keys the action key and the assist key. Now, I would strongly recommend that you copy this little bit of code into your init.l which will allow you to bind this key meta return directly to this command h key either and this syntax bind asterisk basically means that you are reserving this key exclusively for this command. So the action key is basically the key that you would use to activate the hyperlinks that are within your text. For example, if we wanted to activate this hyperlink, we would simply invoke Alt Enter. And here it takes me straight to my GitHub page. Then we have the assist key which provides help for hyperbole buttons and it's basically the same as meta return except it begins with a prefix argument. So if we invoke control U, alt enter, we are given detailed information about this particular hyperbole button. And if we simply invoke Alt Enter, we will be taken to the GNU website where information on this package can be accessed. One should also note that hyperbole buttons can also link to any info node and the action key can navigate through the entire online info manuals. Now let me encourage you to continue to watch the videos that I produce on Hyperbole. I am particularly excited about the second video that I'm going to be doing which is on the magic of Hyperbole buttons. Hyperbole really does things that no other Emacs program can do. It is a magic within Emacs and so be sure to catch the next video which I hope to release in a very short time.